Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Vibing with Janae. Um, before I get started, I want y'all to definitely follow me on IG. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the comments below if you have things you want to say to me. But if not, make sure you definitely hit the notification bell. I am having a fish fry. As you can see, so I got my three pieces of white and fish. Because you know I don't do catfish. I'm sorry, you guys. I mean catfish lovers out there, I can't can't do the catfish. And then um, I have this seasoning, this um, french fry seasoning. I, I swear by this, as you can see, it's almost done. And my fries and two pieces of wheat bread, because you know, us healthy folks is trying to definitely always stick with the wheat bread. It's 2020 now, nobody should be eating white bread unless it's at a fast food place. <laughs> then I got my water, ice mountain water. And then you can't have no fish, no chicken, no anything that y'all eat fried wise, meat wise, without this banging red hot hot sauce. Like I need my hot sauce like to complement my meals. I can't be having them, you know, making my mouth like feel like I need something else. So. Um, and then I'll run, run a little ketchup so you got the ketchup packs on deck. That's why you keep them in the cabinet with your a mild hot sauce, your ketchup, barbecue sauces and all that because you know one day you're going to need them. One day. So, um, I kind of just wanted to make sure that I did um, an evening, you know, mug bang because trust me, I know y'all. I'm going to show y'all my food and my cooking that I swear I can do real soon. Right now, I just had something like on my mind as I was about to prepare to eat and I wanted to share with you guys um, two things actually. So I had seen two different things that just jogged my memory. You know, whenever you get some ideas for a video or anything, make sure you jot it down real quick so that you can prepare yourself for your next video what you want to say so the first thing was I had seen a video on our beloved Michelle Obama having her birthday and how they cut you know the kids to have them fruits and veggies with their meals and everything um, on her birthday and I thought that was just so disrespectful like y'all play like y'all didn't mean for it to happen on her birthday but come on y'all let's be honest we know how they get when it comes to us so yes they probably did it intentionally and with me being all about health and stuff too and trying to strive to do better on my journey I thought that like that was the best thing for the kids like the Trump administration doing that her like that and doing that is crazy like they're trying to put more starches into the meal. So not only will it not always just be vegetables, sometimes it'll be potatoes, and we know potatoes ain't always the healthiest. So then they're going to do that and make it be more so a la carte. They say, like, people are wasting food and everything. But do you know how many kids that are obese that probably will be coming less by having that option for their meals? Come on now. So I definitely wanted to talk about that. But, like, outside of that, the other thing that hit me was... I've seen the cutest love story on my IG. Like the shade room, put it on there. And this woman, she has cancer and her husband can sing real well. And so he sings to help her, you know, with battling and everything. And I was just like, maybe I want it and don't think I'm gonna get it because I'm not married yet. And that's probably what married couples are supposed to have. But like, I want what my grandparents had. I want what my parents had. Like, so I'm, I want so bad to be able to experience that somebody goes through with things with you, the good and the bad, the ugly, the times where you just dealing with losses of family and everything else that comes with it. Somebody just being there by your side, like, I don't want to get emotional, so I'm not going to touch on the subject too long, but like with my mom, before she passed away, like a year and a half ago, my dad was there for her every step of the way. He didn't leave her side. They've been married. If I'm 28, they have been married for 29 years. And, well, at the time, they was married for 28 years. I was 27. And when I tell you, no, 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 my mom missed two of my birthdays. No, I was 26. So they've been married for 20, 
seven years, but they have been knowing each other and together for 28, 29 years. And I'm telling y'all, like most people, when you get, when you're battling like something like that, like battling cancer or in my mom's case, she had a rare disease, scleroderma, or people that deal with lupus, like somebody is bouncing on you. Like, you know, they can't h handle the pressure of being there for somebody hand and foot while they go through things. But this man on IG had been there for his woman, or that, his wife, sorry, his wife and my dad did the same thing. And I just was like, just to know that somebody will be there for you through everything. Like all the relationships that I've had, like I'm yet to just find that one person that like, you know, gives my space when I need to, dealing with the loss of my mom, but also just like, checking up on me, make sure I'm good, checking up on them, like, it's always one-sided, and it's never, like, that felt of knowing that somebody's just there in your corner, no matter what. They say it out their mouth, and I might say it out my mouth, but, like, I don't know if it takes marriage for it to really come into fruition, but I'm telling you guys, I'm not going to eat, but that's what it is be getting to me, and so... I want to come on here with you guys and just say, like, if you have that out there, if you just have somebody that genuinely is just there for you and cares about you and um, wants to see you, like, successful in everything that you're involved in, um, no matter if y'all are you, make sure the day don't go by without making sure things is good. Because I know for me, especially with my first um, relationship that I was in, like, my first, first one. Like, I would not go to bed. Like, I would not let us argue and go to bed mad at each other. Like, I was definitely making sure we was good by the end of the night before we went to bed. Because, like, you never know what can happen to a person. You never know here today, gone tomorrow type thing. And for me, like, I wouldn't know what to do with myself for that. So, um, yeah, that really touched me. Like, I thought that was the sweetest thing. Like, as you scroll through the different parts of what he shared on IG and the shade room captured. I cannot get this open. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, I just thought that was the sweetest thing to see. And like, like he said, all of us women want, even though she complains often because he's always singing all the time, all of us women want somebody that, um, that is there, you know, got a voice and can sing and everything. Like, we love that. And him just being by her side through it all and just doing that. Like, I just, whoo, gives me chills just thinking about it. But the other subject is just important to me, too. I'm just thinking, like, you know, that was just wrong how what that administration did. Because what Michelle Obama put into place is definitely for us. You know, we're a minority. We're the ones that really was benefiting the programs that was and put in place for the schools and stuff. And I wish I um, could pull up the article that I had read, but, and place it here for you guys. I'm gonna try to, but I just thought that that was just so wrong. So wrong. So, um, hold on. <laughs> How many of y'all like having bread with your fish too? Like, I love it. I've been sorry when I have, pe have pieces of fish that don't have bread, but you know, most of the time you have a fish fry and have fish, you have two. So, even more, it's probably really not good for you to keep consuming bread, even if it's sweet. And you know, anything white, like sugar, white sugar, white flour, white bread turns into fat. Now, I need to do my homework more to know if wheat does the same as far as this bread, because I don't know if it's that authentic either. but. I definitely love my fish with wheat bread. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, y'all not feed you this time. I like ice mountain too. <laughs> But, um, so yeah, I seen both of those and I was like, I got to share that with everybody. Hope everybody's doing well this evening. 
hope y'all having a good day. Hope y'all staying positive, keeping them vibes, positive vibes going. <laughs> but most importantly, I hope y'all, you know, keep up with the latest of what's going on in the world. And, you know, there's a lot of negativity that that's often show with the news and everything, but there's a lot of positive too. So, you know, be a part of that positivity that's floating around. And just keep your eyes open on what's going on everywhere. That's really important. It's really important. But mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm not the biggest fan. That's why being best friend will work, work for me because I'm the biggest fan of seafood. Like I love not even fried food all the time. Of course, but like fried fish, salmon patties. This is my stuff right here. But <clears throat> I think part of me. Ooh, sorry. I think a part of me can't even wait until I have a husband. This thing can be right next to me. We're going to be talking about this kind of stuff. And eating together and all that stuff. Like, I'm all into all that stuff. Um, I put on my story today. How the latest episode. You know, we same playing. Gosh. <clears throat> a show. And they're on the second season. So that's out. I can't wait to um watch that. You know, RZA. Um... He is uh, from his perspective, of course, but he's the one that got everybody together, so it definitely makes sense to be from his perspective. And that first season was bomb. I love the first season. And I knew there would be more episodes of how it ended, so I can't wait to check that out. Of course, you got power. How you guys like how power is going. I'm still on the fence about like how they're doing all these perspectives of it. Because I feel like there's more of power that they could have been like putting in its place, but you know. Um, I think Tommy's next. Or to tune in and see that tomorrow. Um, yeah. I'm telling you about a second piece of fish. I'm probably going to be so full. Cool. <laughs> because of the bread. have a good swig of that water and you be looking like hold up I can't stop yet <laughs> mm -mm -mm. all in front of the camera <laughs> um what else I got to visit my grandma today that was real nice seeing her um Truth be told, my grandma was like my second mom. Like she was the one that cut my umbilical cord <clears throat> while she was in the room and everything. So like we got that bond just like that for life. Like I'm so grateful that she still minds us. I'm so grateful. Love being around her. She's so upbeat, vibrant, keeps her hair done, keeps her nails done. Like this keeps herself up. Like how a woman should be. And cook. Whew, I love her cooking. I hope to have, be half the woman her in that cooking side of things. I don't even know why I got two things with ketchup. I'm not even gonna use it. This is not funny, probably too much. And I forgot to use some of my seasoning. Y'all, this seasoning is good on Ooh, too much. Sorry. Might have to dip some of these fries or take some of that off. I'm glad it's on the ketchup so I can take some of that off. That they might share, but um, yeah, it's not just good on fries, this seasoning is good on other things too. This is one white seasoning that be on like sea not seafood, but like soul food places, like JJ's, like places that have like chicken and fish or whatever. This white seasoning, whew, it's so good on fish, chicken, you name it. Mm, excuse me, now I wish I had some of that. Um. 
um, I want to thank y'all for tuning in with me tonight too. It's a Saturday. Y'all can be doing other things, but what y'all doing? Y'all here with me, so I appreciate it. <laughs> Not trying to sound too much like a Jay Z line, but I do appreciate it. I don't know if it's me. Comment below if it's like you too, but I'm one of the first to finish my fries before anything else. <laughs> like I'm always finishing my fries before the rest. It never fails. Never fails. Mm -mm -mm. I know there's some people that don't like seafood, and I apologize if watching me eating fish is bothering you. Or some people's allergic, should I say, too. But, honey, let me tell you, I love me some seafood. Like, you take me to a seafood spot, I love you forever. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, I, mean, I love my some food, so that comment probably was true. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Um... I think I'm about to start having my videos be on Mondays and Wednesdays. So after today, look forward to Monday and Wednesdays for the videos. I'm gonna try to be as consistent as possible. The girl need her hair done, so hopefully <laughs> the next video or two that's completed can be on here looking a hot mess. <laughs> Newbie or not, but I just wanna put more content out and I wanna have more conversations, more time to have y'all vibe with me so um i just appreciate y'all tuning in i really do <clears throat> if there's anything that y'all would like to see me talk about or do like feel free to let me know but y'all know i don't be wanting these videos to be too long so Got one more piece of um, fish and one fry left. So after that, it's over with. So thank you for tuning in with me. I hope you guys have a very nice, lovely evening. And again, don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't. And if you have, thank you, loves, from the bottom of my heart. And, you know, comment below if you have something that you want to say to me. Because I do, you know, vibe and communicate with my peoples so thank you guys much love